Hello, welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how we can configure the response payload in Oracle integration. So, adding the configure of response payload, it means that whenever we will run the integration, it will return back a response data in a response. So, let's begin. So, here you can see I have already created one integration where I have added the request payload as this two value will be passed as a request and while running the integration and it will show the sum of this two number in the log. So instead of showing the sum of in the log, I will just create integration where I will use the response payload. And in the response payload, I will show you the sum of that two number. So what kind of response payload I want to show? I want to show response payload as response payload. And inside that, I want to provide result as something like that. result and that will be the result the value we are not providing value here as we will get the value at runtime and also here we are not providing value as we will get, provide the value at runtime right so let's let's begin so for creating the integration i will click here and i will select the integration type as application and i will use xx ad request and response payload 01 now here i will provide the package as OIC integration 0 to click create. So now you it's created. We have to add we have to add the, the endpoint for making a configuration of request and response. So I will just drag the rest endpoint and I will provide the name as a start rest. Next, here we have to provide the URI. So request and response. And now here instead of get I will select method as post so, so that we can pass the value and we can receive the value. So once we selected here and now what I will do I will go for the next and once we move the next we have to provide the sample value as a request payload. So I will select JSON and in inline I will provide the value. So here I have already created the payload sample payload for the request payload. So just drag click OK. Now you can see everything is fine JSON and done. Now next. In next we have to we have to provide the response payload. You can see this is the response right. So in response payload again I will select JSON and I have created the response structure. So I will copy this response structure and provide in the inline. Okay. Instead of inline we can upload the file also. I just don't want to do the same right now. Go next and done. So our endpoint is added and this endpoint will have two values as a request payload and with the help of this mapper we are going to return back the value in the response. So in the value what kind of value I want to add a return I want to return the value as an addition of these two number. So directly I will move to the mapper I will edit the mapper and in the mapper here you can see in the response payload once you will see the response payload inside the response payload we have result the same as inside the response payload we have result in that result I want to add the value so in the result what value I want to add for adding the value right click here and create target node so once you will click on the create target node you can see the new tab and here we have to provide the values for right now you can see it's in view only here you will click and it will open in the edit mode so what value I want to add I return I want to return the value of sum of first number and the second number in request payload so in the start rest, this is the rest endpoint where we configure inside that request wrapper. You can see we have request payload and once you will expand, you can see we have these two values. I want to add some of these two value in that variable, right? So what I will do, suppose this is our first value plus second value. So inside this bracket, I will map the value variable one in the request payload and here I will map the value two. So you can see this will be the value var one p value one plus P value 2. I will click here for the adding that one. Now done. You can see this two value will be mapped with the addition operation to this result. Now we have done. So validate again for final final submission. Once this will be validated, we will be adding the integration for run. So right now everything is fine. Now what we have to do is that if you can see Whenever we create any integration, we have to we have to add the business identifier as a tracing variable. For that, we will click here. We have to add the variable. So in request payload, we are getting the value. Same value we will map here. 
right done save now you can see our integration completed successfully and it's in configure now it's ready to run so go back and here we have to activate the integration so once this integration will be activated then only we can run the integration now you can see integration activated now for run the integration click here in the menu and click on run so here in, you can see this is our integration and in the body you can see this is the request payload and here we have to provide the value 1 and value 2 in value 1 suppose we provided 90 and in the values 2 suppose we provided 80 so it will be 90 plus 80 170 will be reflect here in the response right we as we have added the response body something like that so just click on run this two value will be passed to the integration and it will return back result in the response you can see so this is the way we can create a request and response payload configuration in our integration so all these things you can debug from here only so here if you see the in the mapping reply to the start rest right once you will open here you can see the same value we got here right message sent to reply you can see the value we result as 170 we have done in the mapping so this is the way we can do these things so thank you so much for watching if you have any query you can make a comment on that thank you so much